Good morning guys, I'm here with Hanson. He's sleeping. We just had our newborn photo shoot and it went really well. Uh, I cannot wait to get the photos back. So cute. I just like, I want to squeeze. Look at this. Look at him. He's so perfect. So me and Hanson took the first two weeks of his life off of life we didn't do anything so i want to do a quick update before we jump back into vlogging and like getting things back on track and like starting to like live regular life again rather than just like bed life so he was two weeks on saturday and it's tuesday now saturday sunday monday tuesday so he's two weeks and three days old i'm two weeks postpartum um the number one question that you guys have been asking so i'm just gonna like get that out of the way in the beginning is how breastfeeding is going because i do have implants and you guys know i was like super worried about it and this breastfeeding journey has been the best one since like i feel like the implants helped i don't know if that's true or not but like there's i feel n absolutely no difference there's no like like there's no difference and at first i was thinking maybe my boobs are like a lot bigger because of it but i'm looking back on photos of like me breastfeeding sutton and they are just as big i feel like if not bigger back then so i feel like everything is normal like in that region like i'm producing a lot of milk when i pump i get like three to four ounces and i'm already and i'm only two weeks postpartum so I know he's eating well he's surpassed his birth weight we went to the doctors this morning too and he weighs seven pounds three ounces so that is good um what else with him he is sleeping through the night already none of my kids slept through the night at two weeks and i asked the doctor i'm like is that okay should i like be waking him up and she's like since he's past his birth weight i would just let it like she's like i always say like wake him up if he's under his birth weight but he is past his birth weight so you can let him sleep through the night and he's like she's like just make sure you're feeding him often throughout the day so that he gets all the calories he needs so yeah let me hold him he's so cute <laughs> he's in he is 21 inches now and he weighs seven pounds six three ounces i think is what i said and um He's in the 65th percentile, I believe, for like his height and then the 30th for weight. So like he's doing really good. He's perfect weight for his height. He's growing great. Um, he's sleeping through the night, which is crazy. We went to bed at, was it seven? No, eight last night. He didn't wake up till one. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. No, he didn't wake up till two. So he slept a full six hours and then from 2 to 6 a.m. he slept. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So another four hour stretch and then from 6 to 8 he slept. So, uh, and I woke him up at 8 because we had a doctor's appointment at 8.45. So I don't know how long he would have slept had I not woke him up. But he, he is so good. He is literally so good. He's just like Landon was. Landon was a really good baby too. Um as long as like he burps as long as i burp him after he eats he's not fussy at all but like if i try to lay him down and he hadn't burped he'll like wake up and like need to burp you know so we make sure that we get burps out and then toots out and then he goes to bed good as for me so yes breastfeeding is going really good um absolutely zero difference i'm not i'm only pumping right in the morning now because he has been sleeping through the night so uh, I pump in the morning out of one boob and he feeds on the other one and I have been using the LV and then I've also been using like a hand pump if if um, I didn't charge the LV. <laughs> I am eight pounds away from no sorry let's see yeah I'm seven pounds away from pre-pregnancy weight so I still have like a little tummy and I feel like I've lost like that like puffiness that I get in the hospital from all the anesthesia and everything um so i feel really good there i know one of you guys' questions was if i'm worried about losing weight after I had lost all the weight like after sutton and i feel like i was more worried like with those three not worried but like oh can i do this but like i know i can do it this time so i'm not in a rush to do it i'm not worried about losing weight i'm not like that's not even on my mind at all because i know that i have the discipline to do it and i know that i will eventually like get into that again so I, I'm i just like enjoying this time and not thinking about like losing weight or 
anything like that let me pull up the rest of you guys's questions that you had but my c-section scar is doing really well um he removed a lot of scar tissue and he also um fixed my scar so the scar was like messed up and he he said like he's like i'm gonna fix it so he did some like cosmetic work i guess and it looks a lot better so i'm really happy with that he also he did not staple me because i i know a lot of you guys were like did he staple her because in the birth video i was like please don't let him staple me because he uh my doctor didn't get to do my surgery last time because i went in like um in labor so this time he's like no i never staple like that's like that's like not a thing anymore like i'm so surprised that you even got stapled last time so he's like no we're definitely not stapling um so i got stitches and they're pretty much gone now all right let me pull up the questions because i know a lot of you guys had questions but i feel like those were the main ones i saw was the breastfeeding how my recovery is going this recovery has been like a lot better than than sutton's have you been tired with the night feeding not at all like i feel like i did need a nap for like the the second week like the first week i was not tired at all I was getting more sleep than I was getting pregnant um, because I was just so uncomfortable. And then the second week, I started to get pretty tired. But now he's like, he started sleeping through the night, and I've been like, it's been really good. Everything with breastfeeding related, I feel like I covered most of that. Pumping's going well. I've only pumped once a day, um, just because I don't want to over supply, you know. Let's see what else? Uh, you guys are wondering how we came up with the, with the name Hanson Cash um, Quad was on the phone one day and he was talking to his friends and one of his friends has a friend named Hanson and Qua was like who is that again and he's like oh Hanson and I literally looked at Qua and I go what did you just say and I was like what's his name and he's like his name's Hanson I was like that is the cutest name ever and me and him like looked at each other and he's like he's like Aunt, I was gonna tell you this name if we ever had another baby and like I don't know we're like in sync we know we're gonna have another boy so we're like that is our next baby's name Hanson like I love that was before I even got pregnant um and then Cash we were between Cash and Sky and Ash were like the three middle names but I don't know I feel like Cash like when we met him it just fit him so well like and Qua has been playing Johnny Cash songs for him ever since. Like, Qua loves Johnny Cash, like, for since forever. So that's kind of how we came up. Qua came up with both names, pretty much. But I was, like, whenever I heard the name Hanson, I was like, what was that? What is that name? That is the cutest name ever. A lot of people are asking if I'm going to get a tattoo for him. And yes, I am. I think I said it in the vlog where we did the newborn photo shoot. I want to get either an H behind my ear or I want to get cash written out like right here on the side of my neck. I'm just not sure which one yet. Literally all your questions are about my boobs. <laughs> Literally all of them. Do you see baby number five in the future? That's another big question. And I want to say no, but who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Um, most likely no. But also we haven't done anything to stop that from happening. So what nursing bras do you like the best? I love the ones from Target. They're the Aiden brand and they're like just the crisscross ones. Like no like cl clips or anything. They just like crisscross. Those are my favorite. Yeah, so that was the question. How's your relationship with your body going after birth after so much work? I answered that already, but I like the way like she worded it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not in a rush to try and get back to that if that makes sense but i definitely will eventually and i feel like i have a good mindset about it and like i'm not worried uh someone asked how come the belly doesn't go away as soon as the baby comes out i actually got a lot of questions about that and i didn't realize that people didn't know that your belly doesn't just go away right away your uterus is expanded to the point of like it needs like six weeks to go down. Usually it takes between six and eight weeks to fully go back to its normal size. So, Qua's uncle's leaving. So yeah, it you still look pregnant after you have a baby. Um, but usually, yeah, it takes like six to eight weeks for your uterus to shrink back down. That's why it looks like it. Not because there's like still something in there. It's very like, like it's, it's not hard anymore and it's like soft and yeah so i didn't realize that people didn't know that 
yeah. like blew my mind how many people yeah. asked that but yeah that's pretty much it like all your questions were about my boobs and i feel like i covered that and they're doing really well um mm. yeah everything everything's going really 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 well and i love that we took like the two weeks off and i did nothing like i've literally not picked up the camera i haven't done any work like um we had a bunch of videos pre-filmed so those just were sitting to be uploaded while i was in the hospital and while we were home postpartum and stuff and now we're back up to date basically we're like back in real time um but yeah and make sure you follow me on instagram because we're like always in real time on instagram if you guys are ever wondering like what we're doing um youtube can be a, a few days behind sometimes so but yeah, I'll show you guys my belly too because I know a lot of you guys were asking. Let me do it quick. This is it with like my clothes on. So this is how we're looking so far. And this is it with my pants pulled down. But yeah, so we're getting there. Definitely still have a little belly. And I probably will for a little bit, but that's okay. Also love these crisscross undies from Aerie. A A plus for C section. Um, for C section mamas. Uh, but yeah, that is basically it for this Q and A update. Um, we we'll be back to like regular vlogging now. I'm so excited to get back into things. And let me know any videos you guys want to see down below. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for all your like concerns and questions and like. It like it's so crazy to think that we have so many people out there that care about us and care about Hanson already and he was literally like just born. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Hey good night. Good night. Oh, he's so perfect. <laughs>